This is Interviews, the series where I talk to folks I've never met about things unrelated to the pandemic, and they often comment on my glassware. Today's guest is Kira Sangster. Tell me about where, where are you from originally? Uh, born and raised in North York, Toronto. Okay. Um, I went to a regular grade school and then auditioned for Claude Watson. Went to Claude Watson. Um, and then across the street was Cardinal Carter Academy for the Arts. Yeah. And all of my friends were there. Oh. And my mother has, was brought up wearing a uniform. So in my head, that was, that was going to school, having a nice crisp shirt in your kilt. So I went to Clark Cardinal Carter. <laughs> oh, really? So then what did you do after Cardinal Carter? Um, well, I had been working through high school, film and television. Okay. And then when I graduated um, my final year, because I hadn't actually attended school enough because mm -hmm. I was working, I ended up doing correspondence okay. for my final year. The guidance counselor was like, listen, you got to be at school for this amount of days and you're kind of cutting it close. <laughs> so I did correspondence, which was lovely. Um, and then afterwards I was still working. So I didn't do any post-secondary education. Um, went on a cruise ship and the first cruise ship I went on, I remember I got off in December, early part of December, had an audition uh, mid January and started early February for Shaw. Wow. Then how long have you been at Shaw? Um, this is, this would have been my 14th season and 14 over. So I did two years, one year off, two years, two years off. And then in 2011, I've been here since then. Holy cow. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love your mug. <laughs> Thank you. Nick loves it as well. <laughs> Talk to me about that evolution then, like the, the sort of, uh, for you as a performer, starting mm -hmm. in that sort of dance and commercial kind of world and evolving to uh, like such a, a well-rounded performer who can seemingly do everything. Thank you. What, uh, what has that evolution been like for you? Um, at first, very jarring. Um, I barely remember my first season. It was chaos in my head and so many new things coming at me, dialect classes, voice classes, um, learning how to breathe. I'm still working at it. As a dancer, you're told to hold your gut in, take short, shallow breaths. You're not really thinking about carrying your breath to the end of the line because you don't need that. When I first arrived, I was primarily a dancer. Singing was terrifying to say the least. Um, words, I remember I had one line in Pygmalion, uh, which was part of, um, well, I can't even remember the section of the show, but I had one line and I remember every day before that line, I'd be off stage and just saying the line repeatedly, repeatedly. And I would walk out, find my mark. And I had just, a, you know, a little spot yeah. and I'd say the line and then I would get off and be like, oh, how does Tara do it? Wow, she's, she's got a whole bunch of those. The stress and anxiety and joy, because there was joy when I finally accomplished playing a note, but I'm just not made for trumpet. I'm just not, and I'm okay with that. It's gonna take, it's a process. <laughs> have, you, have you had uh, experience playing other instruments before? I grew up playing flute and saxophone, but okay. the embouchure is completely different. Totally different, yeah. <laughs> and just the, the simple of doing, mm, my lips give out within like seconds. <laughs> and I would sit in that rehearsal hall and be like, <laughs> and then my hand would get excited. I'm like, no. What is the experience that you had, likely as a child, um, that hooked you into the idea of theater or performing in general? 
So growing up in art schools and in Toronto, we went to the theater all the time. Um, my dance teacher's husband worked for Live Ent, so we were able to see all of the shows as many times as we wanted. Wow. Um, I do remember when the Ford Center was just built and Showboat was in there and sitting back and there was one section where it's just white. And for whatever reason that allowed people's faces to pop out to me. Mm. And I don't know if it's that childhood warping that happens and memories as they, they change throughout the years and you try to recall the memory, but I still have bits of that visualization of seeing the white and everyone's faces. I look through my memory box because you know, you, you put things in there. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, of course. So looking through that, I found a stub um, from St. Joan with Mary Haney. And it was the only ticket stub inside of my memory box. Wow. And I remember thinking it was the first year that I had been at Shaw. And for whatever reason, I thought, did I know back then? Like, did I know? Because it never, theater was never really on my radar until my late teens, early 20s, when I would audition for Stratford, if they were doing a big um, dance show. But other than that, no, it was dancing. Maybe I'll open a dance studio. I can continue dancing in film and television. That's, that's what you do as a dancer. Um, but the little 12-year-old or 13-year-old self thought that there's something in this ticket. I was like, yeah, <laughs> this is nice. I don't have to kick my face or do a shenny. This is great. Hey, coffee or tea? Ooh, can I mix the both of them together? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that might be a bit gross, but yes. What's the craziest thing you've ever had to do on stage? Wear a bodysuit that was sheer and only had appliques and walking in front of Paul Sportelli. Gypsy, first time. <laughs> What's a dream role that you have? Or just a dream show too, if that's something. Ooh. I would love to be able to sing Mama. That to me is, is a part. She's strong, um, articulate, clever. She's a survivor. And then she just lets loose this voice and this song that pulls all of the, the oomph into the show. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> First one that came to my mind. That's great. I love that. Uh, Kate should just know that you're coming for her. So that's, yes. that's all there is. <laughs> Kira, this has been an absolute delight. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for having me.